Welcome back to Data Power Solution. I hope you are doing very well. In this lecture, I will show you demo on for each activity in Microsoft Fabric Data Factory. The for each activity define a repeating control flow in a data factory pipeline. This activity used to iterate over a collection. Collection means list of value and execute a specific activity in a loop. For example, if you have a list of value and you can iterate over a each value in that list. So before going forward, I request you to please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you find this video helpful. Now let's get started on demo on for each activity. So let's go to Microsoft Fabric homepage. Let's go to demo workspace and let us create new pipeline for this demo. Click on this and name it PL for each. This is pipeline name. Let us click on create. First of all, we need to create here list of value means collection. For this, we are using metadata. Metadata fetch the file name in list format. So let's configure here. This is metadata activity. We already talked about this metadata in previous video and let's use here lake house and I want to iterate over in a folder so let's go to here this is lake house and we have a folder city bike trip data this is folder name and we have a file we want to iterate over each file so this is if you click on three dot and click on this this is relative path so copy this and go to here pipeline press here f11 to maximize this screen and click on this and we want here directory this is file name and we want to iterate over each file so no need to write here file name and file here delimited tags and we want here child item so click on this fill list and child item in this folder okay so let us run this first save and let us see output of this metadata once again and it is executing now so it is succeeded let's see output you can see here in a square bracket this is the list and each element in list enclosed by curly bracket in json format this is name this is name of file 202401 if 202402203 and 04 city bike trip data if you want to see go to here demo lake house and this is 20240102023 let's close this city bike trip data and you can see all these file name in pipeline activity metadata activity this is child item file name file type this is file type if you have folder then you can see your folder so now close this now I want to iterate over this file list so let's click on this activity and now use here for each activity on success link this to for each now we can use here output of this metadata in for each so name it for each in general tab and activity status is activated and setting this is batch count this is optional no need to do any parallel output and we need here item so click on this and add dynamic content and we want to use here get metadata activity get metadata child item get metadata exist you can see output of this and we need to use here get metadata child item okay item name is folder name so we can use here get metadata item child item this is produce file name okay 
in JSON structure format and click OK and we need here activity so you can click here and you can add here you can see here plus icon click on this add and let us suppose we use here set variable activity for simple example okay so now you can see here set variable activity in activity tab and click on this edit button and now you can see here pipeline for each in this for each loop we have a another activity which is set variable so general tab this is set variable and you can write here description activity state should be activated and go to here setting pipeline variable and name click on this new variable name let us name it v underscore for example for each this is for each variable and this is value of this variable type this is data type of this variable value of this variable so this should be string boolean array or integer so let us choose here string because file name should be in string and click on this value add dynamic content and this should be for each item output click on this and we need here item dot name dot name because in if you click ok button and go to here click on this output you can see here this is for each output of this metadata we need here name of file if you need here fi file type you can dot type so we need here in this click on this item dot name now go to here home tab save you can also use here validate button to validate this it's still saving now saving completed you can also validate here your pipeline has been validated close this and run now let us wait for this pipeline is in progress you can click here to refresh this now this pipeline is succeeded so let us analyze here output we get here first get metadata you can see here output in list in a square bracket and each element of this list in json structure this is key and this is value okay so key value pair name of file and we use here name only and now we apply here after that get metadata we apply here for each activity and this should be empty okay and we set variable in each variable so this is 0 2 this is 0 3 this is 0 1 and this is 0 4 we get all file name okay so if you go to here 0 1 0 2 0 3 and 0 4 okay so we have four element in get metadata and we iterate over four times okay so that's all about in this video in this video we learn about for each activity in next video we learn about switch activity and we remaining activity have switch filter weight we learn all these activity in control flow so please subscribe this channel and like this video if you find this video helpful thank you for watching have a nice day